Hi, I'm Dee Bethel, and I'm the creator, writer, and artist of the Long John webcomic, here with uh, a sped-up video of me drawing digitally in this case. And of all things, I'm not actually drawing a Long John page here, but I am drawing a comic book page of a uh, of short story. I've been working on a standalone short story that I've been thinking about and working on off and on in sort of downtime, free time, in tiny increments over the last couple of months. Mostly as kind of a proof of concept, but it seems to be kind of coming together in a story that's tentatively titled Call Me Home. And this page specifically was where I really decided to jump into the deep end and be like, okay, if I'm going to do this, I better <laughs> do it, right? And so a lot of this early art is me kind of figuring out the line, for lack of a better word, how it would look. I didn't want it to look exactly like Long John does. Um, I wanted a bit grittier, a bit messier, something that shows kind of the speed with which I'm I'm drawing it. And I found a great brush called Max U Toothy Inker from the Max Comp the Comics Max Pack Procreate brush set. I'm drawing all this in Procreate on the iPad Pro. And uh, I just really like this brush that I found because it creates a nice line with a great sort of gradient, uh, not gradient, but sort of thick to thin based on the pressure you put on it. Um, as well as providing a lot of great textures when you tip the Apple Pencil on its side and kind of like you, you, you do with a you shade with a with a normal pencil that does that kind of effect as well. And it just kind of has that nice messy line that isn't isn't cr as crisp as an animation line or something that looks overly digital. That, once I found that brush, it all really kind of came together really quickly. And I just kind of jumped right into it. For being a story that takes place, spoiler alert, I guess, in, in the snow, I still found a lot of technical work going into this drawing, um, especially because I'm drawing things like trucks and vehicles, which are not really in Long John at all. And those are made up of geometric shapes and are very geometrical in their own way. On their own, aside from people, which when you draw them, they're made up of shapes as well. But... Um, people are lumpy and imprecise, whereas cars tend to be very machined. You saw me kind of really work through that first panel with the truck. And I really wanted to get, and I really took some time to get the, the perspective and angle right for this second panel. Not only drawing the truck first, and this one, I took advantage of the digital medium here by drawing the background first, because I was having some trouble getting the, the not, not things to line up, but just really second guessing myself and so I figured drawing the background first will make it easier to then place the figure within it making sure that the figure is proportioned correctly and uh, fits in there and all that kind of stuff but I had a another issue with that panel with the pose there was really an, a, a look I was going for where you can kind of see this guy crawling on his elbows basically through this broken glass but it just wasn't working and so I went to a more natural, more likely pose that you would have crawling out of a, of a car. And while well, maybe not as dynamic as the other pose could have been, um, I think it captures the to the tone and the mood in just as well. And one of the things I'm doing with this is not spending too much time on the precision of the drawing. Not that I not that I do with Long John either, but I'm really trying to even be more loose with this because it is going to be basically black and white and gray and I wanted to to get through it quickly I figure forcing myself to use a more messy brush in Procreate and just using the limited tool sets that I have available to me will force me to keep pushing through and honestly it, it keeps a lot of the the electricity of the sketch alive which can be worked away the more you overdraw and redraw and ink and, and color over it but I think I found a nice balance here to kind of keep things sketchy while looking finished. And I'm really happy with kind of how it's turning out. Now, the third panel, or I guess, yeah, it's the third panel technically, I completely revamped from the, the layout I had come up with. And that's how I'm drawing these. I do layouts in, in a small template that I do, and I just kind of copy and paste the small thumbnail and blow it up, even though it's the wrong DP, the, you know, the wrong resolution, it's all blurry. At least I, 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 it gets everything settled on the page, and I can get to drawing pretty quickly. But I completely redrew the concept of the third panel to uh, just because one, it was slowing me down, right? I'm like, I don't want to draw 
a car upside down. And then looking at the panel in uh, along with everything else on the page, I mean, it's, it's really not conveying anything new. And so what can this panel instead be doing? And so showing him pulling pieces of glass out of his arm, I think adds to the story of the page. One of the things that I, I hit, a, hit on quickly with the drawing of this and the, specifically with the thumbnails that I did before drawing the actual page was making the base paper color gray instead of white. It's really, it kind of takes me back to when I was taking art classes at a junior college and, and building value up from gray or down from gray. And it's, it's, it, it, it forces me to use a new part of my brain or a different part of my brain that I really like, I really liked doing in, in college and, and, and I'm enjoying doing now here on the page. I think even that idea has permeated through a lot of the stuff I do on Long John as well. But here I actually get to address it and, and attack it directly. But yeah, it all kind of came together really nicely, and um, I'm really excited to keep going with it. So, and I hope you have enjoyed it too. So uh, be sure to check out Long John at longjohncomic.com. And I'm D Bethel, and thank you for watching me draw. <laughs>